Um, okay. So, that means now we can go places. <clears throat> oh, and this game has, uh... Wow, I have 355,000 credits. Okay. Yeah, this game has, uh... Planet scanning! It's awful! I know it is. <laughs> but it has to be done. <clears throat> I mean, uh... Mass Effect 1... You know, you could scan shit. Oh gosh, it goes so slow. You could scan shit, and then... You know, if you were on the right planet, or you got an asteroid, or whatever. You know, it's simple. One click, and you were done. But no, in this game, it's just like... Why? Every single planet can be scanned. Every single one. Uh, not every one of them has something on it. But I mean, you gotta do quite a bit in order to get all of the upgrades. Uh, and this is pretty much what I do. I kinda half-assed this. I mean, I'm thorough, but in my eyes, I half-ass it. You know, I'll go... You know, I go up and down on there, and then I scroll a little bit. Um, you know, I could probably find more shit if I, uh didn't scroll as much to the side, but whatever. Because, uh, I mean, I do want to buy my upgrades. I want to buy everything I can. Uh, there is one exception, but I'm not going to talk about it. <laughs> Spoilers. Yeah, upgrade heavy pistols? Shut your fucking face, stupid roboid! Okay. Um, so that's that. Uh, in the future, I will do all of my scanning off-camera. Um, because it's, it's a big bag of shit, and you can, you can discover, uh, uh, anomalies. Anomalies are anything from, they're random side missions. The missions themselves are garbage. They are absolutely garbage. Um, but I will be doing those. <laughs> like, they don't have anything to add to the story. I don't even think there's dialogue in them. Uh, so I'll worry about scanning these some other time. Uh, but you know what? I do love the galaxy map in this game. It is amazing. I got all those tabs saying, oh, explore that, oh, get this, recruit them, recruit him or her, kill that. Uh, let's go to the mass relay for a second. Yeah, I got all those tabs and shit. Mass Effect 3 got rid of that, <laughs> for the most part. It's definitely a downgrade, uh, the galaxy map in Mass Effect 3, I would say. <clears throat> Um, but yeah, let's, uh, actually, you know what? Yeah, let's go to the Citadel first. Sure, let's go to the Citadel. Okay, pee break. Commander Shepard, enter the path. Got problems with collectors? Try Kasumi's credit services. Commander Shepard, we have the finest companions waiting for you. Perhaps something petite, smart, and Japanese would be your style. Just enter your password for a fabulous prize package worth millions of credits. Okay, really? How many times can you walk by without stopping? Shepard? You do have the password, right? Commander Shepard, enter the password ah. and receive a Please tell me your password, Commander Shepard. Silence is golden. Good to finally meet you, Commander Shepard. Kasumi Goto. I'm a fan. Has Cerberus filled you in on the mission? Honestly, I'm shocked they didn't come to see me sooner. My fault for being hard to find, I guess. What's with the password and the sneaking around? Are you in trouble or something? I'm the best thief in the business, 
Not the most famous. Need to watch my step to keep it that way. I also needed to make sure all this was legit. And I have no doubts now. You're the real Commander Shepard. What makes you so sure? There's a certain... aura about you. Like you've seen things no one else has. Even without knowing what you looked like, I knew it was you. What brought you to Cerberus? That's a bit of a story. Short version, they were looking for me, so I trailed them to find out why. Turns out they were looking for someone to join you on an important mission, and were offering a serious signing bonus. I had a thing I needed help with, so I made them a deal. And here we are. I assume this deal is something I should know about. Yeah, I guess it slipped their minds. I'm looking for my old partner's gray box. A man named Donovan Hawk took it, and I'm planning to get it back. What's this heist you're planning? Not here, Shepard. You'll get a briefing when the time comes. I need time to nail down the details anyway. I've taken the liberty of getting you some evening wear, though. You want to look presentable. What do you know about Donovan Hawk? Mr. Hawk is a well-respected businessman. Arms dealer, murderer, generally not a... His mansion's famous for being hard to crack, but I have a way in. And I think you're gonna love it. I doubt Hawk's the kind of guy who takes kindly to people sneaking into his house. I always expect trouble. That's why you're here. I assume a gray box is some kind of hardware. It's a neural implant. Illegal in most places. Stores memories, thoughts, secret codes, illicit information. This one in particular belonged to my partner, Keiji Okuda. We worked together for a long time. Before Hawk killed... Yeah, you know, it's getting really annoying that it's cutting the dialogue off like that. Uh, it really sucks. Tell me about this former partner of yours. His name was Keiji Okuda. The best hacker and entryman I've ever known. Unfortunately, he slipped up and made himself infamous. He stole something he shouldn't. He warned me it was bad. Something that could spark interstellar war if it got out. That information... ...got him killed. What could he have found that's so bad? He wouldn't say what it was, just that it was dangerous. He said if it got out, humanity would be in trouble. He encrypted it, wrapped it up in his own memories. To decode the information, you have to sift through all the time we spent together. Now those memories are all that's left of him. I can understand why you'd want to get it back. Getting it back will be easier with your help, Shepard. If that's what Cerberus promised you, we'll get it done. It'll be fun. And if we're lucky, you won't even have to draw your gun. We should probably wrap this up. You look pretty silly standing there talking to an advertisement. Silly oh yeah, and you look Shepard. silly with that hood on. All this name calling, don't make me get a dictionary out. Eh. Hanar. All right, you got anything to say, this bitch? This is a 20 kilo ferrous slug. Feel the weight. Every five seconds, the main gun of an Everest class dreadnought accelerates one to 1.3 percent of light speed. It impacts with the force of a 38 kiloton bomb. That is three times the yield of the city buster dropped on Hiroshima back on Earth. That means Sir Isaac Newton is the deadliest son of a bitch in space. Now, serviceman Burnside, what is Newton's first law? Sir, an object in motion stays in motion, sir. No credit for partial answers, maggot. Sir, unless acted on by an outside force, sir. Damn straight! I dare to assume you ignorant jackasses know that space is empty. Once you fire this hunk of metal, it keeps going till it hits something. That can be a ship, or the planet behind that ship. It might go off into deep space and hit somebody else in 10,000 years. If you pull the trigger on this, you are ruining someone's day, somewhere and sometime. That is why you check your damn targets. That is why you wait for the computer to give you a damn firing solution. That is why, serviceman Chung, we do not eyeball it. This is a weapon of mass destruction. You are not a cowboy shooting from the hip. Sir, yes, sir. Oh, boy. And now he's just slot. repeating. I'm sorry, sir, but I'll need you to remove any biotic amp you might be wearing. What? Why? Unfortunately, sir, biotics can be used as a weapon. 
The rules require me to confiscate all amps. Could you please hand over yours? I don't have one. I'm not a biotic. Oh. Well, when you objected, I thought... You humans are all racist. <gasps> RACIST! Can I help you, ma'am? It's been a couple years since I passed through here. Security seems to have tightened a bit. After the Geth attack, there was a review of security protocol. A few minor changes were made to reduce the risk of Geth infiltration. We apologize for the inconvenience. You'd think a Geth would stand out. Assumptions are dangerous. Be alert, be safe. Uh, you don't need to be alert to Thanks see a time. Geth. Next. Well, they're not walking around in, in human skin. Like, what the hell? Oh, also, since I have DLC, uh, Miranda's got a nice little outfit. I think it looks pretty nice. It's also got that little uh, sentry interface thing there. Obviously, security has tightened since you were last here. Shut it down. What? Do you seriously think? Yeah, okay. Sorry for the inconvenience, ma'am. Our scanners are picking up false readings. They seem to think you're... Uh, dead. I was listed as missing in action a couple years ago. Would you mind checking in with my captain? He can reinstate you in our system. He's just past the scanners on your right. Okie dokie! You'll have to make him scream a little. He's not gonna tell you everything just because you ask. I, I know, sir. If you don't have the stomach or you're worried about being reported, I can take care of it. No, sir. I can handle it. Yes. I see the problem already, Commander Shepard. My consul says you're dead. You're not worried I'm some imposter claiming to be me? We have the best screening equipment in the galaxy. Those scanners can sample DNA from skin flakes. Hell, if you have unregistered gene mods, they can even figure those out. Your sergeant said you could help with that. Usually, you'd have to go through the Station Security Administration to reactivate your IDs, then to Customs and Immigration to regain access to the Citadel itself, and probably a stop by the Treasury. Spending a year dead is a popular tax dodge. Noted. But I can see you're a busy woman. So how about I just press this button right here, and we call it done. Yeah, I don't. I uh, I really don't give a shit about the legality of it. <laughs> like, what's the harm in it, right? I mean, it's a victimless crime in big old quotation marks. But we'll do it anyway. Couldn't one of us or both of us get into trouble for that? There's no way to fool the DNA scanners in that tunnel. You're you. Why wait in long lines and fill out a mass of useless hard copy paperwork to get to the same place? The Council does everything by the book. They've had thousands of years to write it. Sometimes things need to get done without a committee vote. I agree! That'd be great. Done. You're good to go. You should head up to the Presidium, though. The Council would probably like to know that one of their lost specters is still kicking. What's the easiest way to get to the Presidium from down here? Head back through the security checkpoint and take a public shuttle. I will. Having access to the Council and the Spectre's resources would be useful. Yeah. The Council can get anything. Best thing about working CSEC is that any equipment, information, or money you need, you get. Anyway, something else you need? Or can I get back to work? How'd you end up working on the Citadel? I started with the Alliance way back when, but the traveling was killing me. It's a shitty life if you're trying to raise a family, seeing your kids every six months. I joined C-Sec so I could stay in one place and put down roots. You like life here on the Citadel? Eh, life here is good. Hell of a lot different than life back on Earth. I miss the food, mostly. You just can't get sockeye salmon here on the station. You ever get back there? Earth, every couple of years, less and less all the time. But when I finish my stint with C-Sec, there's a nice little place in the foothills I'm gonna retire to. Not that I'm retiring anytime soon. It looks like most of the damage from Sovereign's attack has been repaired. The Presidium was pretty shot up, of course they fixed that first. All the words got hit with debris when the ship exploded. Most of the damage was superficial and the Keepers got things restored fast. 
Taser reward got the worst. A big chunk hit near the Dillanaga concert hall. They're still clearing wreckage and trying to get power restored. It's been two fucking years! Good job! I need to talk to the council. How can I get to the Presidium from Oh, here? I already asked that. Head through the security checkpoint and take a public shuttle. Tell me about this place. All the wards are more or less multicultural, but the other four are dominated by Asari, Turians, or Solarians. In Zakira, we've got major enclaves of Volus, Elcor, and Hanar. There's also a human commercial zone at Shinakiba. We've got a few Krogan walking around. I think I saw a quarry in the other day. I overheard your conversation. Make him scream a little? This isn't a Presidium. All they have to worry about are protesters outside their free speech zones or someone's poodle crapping on the grass. They have poodles in space. Down here, we have drugs, organized crime, and murder. Policing a ward is like policing New York City. Sometimes you have to work outside the council's rulebook. Agreed. Last time I was here, there were no human captains in CSEC. No, CSEC took a lot of casualties when the Geth boarded the Presidium. The Special Response Division was hard hit. They stopped turning their noses up at human resumes. They needed bodies in uniform, and we had the most experienced bodies. I should be going. You need anything else? Let me know. Yay! I'm not going to the council yet, because there is, there is, there, there is, there be stuff. There be stuffs and stuffs that we can do here first. I guess we'll talk to Avina. Why not? Welcome back, Shepard. It has been two years, three months, and seventeen days since the Citadel last welcomed you. This is the Zakara Ward Transportation Hub. Public shuttles and shopping are available through the CSEC security cordon. Oh gosh. It looks like this place has recovered from Sovereign's attack. Repair of the damage from the Geth attack is ongoing. There is still extensive damage on Tasery Ward. Geth? It was Sovereign who led the attack. A Reaper. I have no information on a Reaper. References to the term exist in some parahistorical theories on galactic extinction cycles. They've suppressed information about the Reapers. Far easier to blame the Geth, a known enemy. Uh... Mr. Turian, you were standing in the way. You are a bastard. You bastard! That's all for now. Thank you for using Avina. Get out of here! Alright, yeah, I'm not gonna talk to Avina with all the information. Also, um, you know, I've played this game... Uh, quite a few times, but I've never actually gone through all of the dialogue for everything in the game. So I think that'll be a little nice to do that finally for the playthrough. Um, so I'm going to jump around the Citadel, talk to people, visit these stores, because uh, we can get stuff out of it. I uh, well, I guess I can't talk to that one. For food on you heard wrong. This is the best place for food on the whole damn Citadel. Uh, if it's Turian food, I don't agree with that. All right. Oh, high-grade provisions. This is the food thing we need for that one guy on the ship. Uh, I don't know what the fuck these books do, but sure, let's buy them. Five credits. I think I'll be okay. So uh, I'll see you guys when I find the next bullshit. Although, what's this advertisement got to say? Shepard, are you looking to continue your education? Uh, fuck no. No, 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 no. The Destiny Ascension has completed its 20 colony victory cruise. Council members aboard thanked Human Alliance soldiers for their efforts in repelling Saren's invasion two years ago. The attack on the human colony of Freedom's Progress has generated a swift but confused response. Aid vessels have been sent, but it is not clear whether there are survivors. The Council offered its sympathy, but regretted that it could not become involved in a purely human matter. Alliance military officials are having difficulty meeting hiring quotas, according to a new report. Since Eden Prime, an initial surge in patriotic enlistments was followed by a downturn, as the public became skeptical that the Alliance can match Geth technology. The Shepard Scholarship has gone into effect, targeting low-income children on Earth, where the most famous human in the galaxy allegedly had a difficult childhood. The scholarships have allowed several dozen young men and women to leave gangs and join the military or enroll in school. The Systems Alliance Parliamentary Subcommittee for Transhuman Studies has awarded reparations for biotics suffering complications from L2 implants. 
Subcommittee Chairman Burns thanked Biotics everywhere for their patience and understanding and promised more help for those forgotten by the system until now. Yeah, there's uh is considering further reparations. Yeah, there's quite a few uh, uh things you can get out of there. You can also get some information based on the uh bring down the sky DLC in Mass Effect 1, but I don't really care to uh go through it all and click cuz I think there's quite a bit. You guys got anything to say? Greetings Earth Clan. You will find many excellent ships for sale here. Only slightly used, yes. Thanks, Volus Clan Man. All right, there is a uh, there is a, a quest mission somewhere over here. You ever had ramen? It's a delicacy back on Earth. Fuck ramen. All right. Now available on video. Uh, nope. The abridged version of that can fuck off. This is a thief, and I want her arrested. What? I was just walking by. Oh, uh, well, I guess that's all you gotta say? I'm sorry. I'm trying to take a statement here. There's nothing to talk about. She stole my credit shit. Arrest her. I did not! Just because I'm a Quarian! I need you to stop and take a deep breath. You're mocking me, Earth Clan. Just because the Vault Clan need. It was a poor choice of words, sir. I apologize. You say you're falsely accused? I was walking to the used ship dealer when he barged into me outside the Serta Foundation. He didn't stop or say he was sorry. A minute later, he runs up with C-Sec and accuses me of stealing his damn chip. You ran into each other outside the Serta Foundation. Is it possible the chip fell out of his pocket there? I guess. Sure, all I know is I didn't take it. Do you know who's telling the truth? My Omni tool can tell the Quarian doesn't have a chit on her, but she could have stashed it to recover later. You know what Quarians are like. <laughs> and she's Whoa. definitely a vagrant. Whoa! That's racist! You say she stole your credit chit? She must have. When I left the Serta Foundation store, she ran right into me. How does running into you mean she stole your credit chit? That's how pickpockets work. They bump into you and use that as a cover for rifling your pockets. You can't turn your back on these clanless quarians. Thieves. All of them. Are you sure you didn't leave your chit at the Serta Foundation? Of course not. You think I'd make a mistake like that? I didn't even buy anything there. That chit stayed in my pocket. I'll see if I can find out what happened. Ma'am, this is a C-Sec matter. We'll do all we can... All we can to resolve this. We don't need civilian help. If you do happen to find the chit, please let one of our officers know. Let's go. Be careful out there. Okay. Uh, well, I guess, uh... Oh. Ooh. I just got a refund in exchange, and I was told to pick up a new Omni Jail converter here. I don't think you have the right place. No, they said to go to the warehouse. This is the warehouse. Look, it took me a long time to get this refund. It's a Cision Omni Jail converter. He said there'd be one waiting for me. Do you have a service order? No, I got the refund, made the exchange, and then he said go to the warehouse. I just talked to him on the wards market. He sent me here. Come on, why do I need a service order? The wards market? Why would you come to a Zakara ward warehouse? He said they're out of stock and I should go here. He didn't say anything about a service order. Without a service order, I really can't help you. Ugh. Yeah, his mouth isn't moving. Wait, this was a trick, wasn't it? He sent me to the wrong place just to get me to leave. I wouldn't know anything about that. I've been trying to get this refund for two years. Two years! I'm not giving up now. You'd get a lot farther in life if you just held on to your service orders and receipts. <laughs> I just got a refund in exchange. Ah, so that's the same the dialogue. I don't think you have the right yeah, that's the um, that's the, that guy was in Mass Effect One uh, near the markets where uh, Conrad Werner hung out. Uh, same guy, uh, different voice actor actually, but uh, yeah. 
two years and you still can't get a goddamn refund. The yeah, guy is down on his fucking luck. <laughs> Look, it took me a long time to get this refund. Uh, all right, so now. Oh wait, yeah. Pocket. Yeah, the credit check. Uh, you don't have to go too far for it if you know where to look, but uh, I'm going to talk to this person first. Good day, citizen. Welcome to the Serta Foundation Outlet on Zakir Award. I couldn't help but notice your prices. They seem a bit steep. With respect, the Foundation is not concerned with profits. A portion of our sales funds research to cure genetic diseases. You know, it would make your services more popular. An endorsement from the woman who defeated Saren. Oh my! You're Shepard, aren't you? I would be glad to give you my employee discount if you would do that for us. It's a deal. Just speak into my console here. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. I'll work it into our advertising at once. Thank you. Good day, citizen. Welcome to the Serta Foundation outlet on Zakir Award. I'd like to buy something. Purchases are made through our catalog interface. It's over there. Tell me about your store. The Serta Foundation is a human organization known for its genetic therapy regimens and genetically engineered products. Serta is probably best known for the development of Metagel. If everything's done by catalog, why are you here? Customer service, returns, exchanges, and group rates. We also find that sales are better when there's someone to personally interact with. Though I'm not sure why a human company exclusively hires a sari to work their stores. Oh, I think I can think of a few reasons. Thanks for your time. Come back soon, Shepard. Yeah, ooh, Metagel could... Oh, 25 grand? Uh, sure. Life, uh, weapon... Yeah, I'm not gonna buy that. I don't need the armor shit. I like to roll with the default stuff. Uh, pretty much always. All right, and uh, the credit shit is actually in this place right here. Welcome to Sarinus Applications. Can I interest you? Ah, Shepard. Do I know you? No, but I know you. Even a senile Hanar would remember the human who fought off the Geth. I thought you were dead. Yeah, I've been getting that a lot. Please look around the store. It's a pleasure to have you here. You know, I use quite a bit of software in my line of work. It's a shame so few understand their own equipment. Besides the most obvious point-and-go nav interfaces, anyway. You wouldn't believe how often I hear, Why is the ship turning around? We're only halfway there. <laughs> oh, I would. You know, I like your products. Any interest in an endorsement from the human who defeated Saren? I'd be thrilled. But I don't think I could afford to pay you for it. Don't worry about it. What if we just worked out a discount? Absolutely. Just speak into my console here. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store in the Citadel. That will be splendid. I can edit that and have it working right away. Thank you so much. No oh boy! Ah, my favorite customer. What can I get you? I'd like to buy something. Oh, it's all automated these days. There's a catalog interface over there. If everything's automated, why are you here? Customer service. Sweeping out the store, carefully explaining things to the technologically illiterate, it's stunning how many people think that light moves faster through expensive fiber optic cables than it does through cheap ones. A Volus was in here not too long ago. Did he drop a credit chit? Oh, yes. He bought some environmental system drivers, then left without his chit. I didn't notice he'd left until he was already gone. If you see him, tell him I have it here behind the counter. Oh, boy. Thanks for your time. I'll be here if you need anything. Uh, oh, tech da Ah, fuck. 75? Uh, nope, I'm not buying those. <laughs> fuck that shit. I can, uh, because you can, any, like, any of the upgrades that you can buy, uh, you can actually, f you can also find them. Uh, it's based on a number of upgrades. Like, you don't find specific ones, but, you know, every single, like, new one gets a, you know, further one. So, let's say... Let's say there was a thing Shepherd, here, and, this is my favorite and then store a the thing Citadel. here. You know, I grab the first one, you know, let's say I'll, I'll unlock an assault rifle, and then if I got the other one, I'd get, like, some super assault rifle. Well, if I miss the first one, and then get the second one, well, I got the assault rifle, and then I gotta wait for another opportunity to get the super assault rifle. Um, 
So that is everything over here after I turn in this thing though. You know what Please move along. You forgot your credit shit at Saranus Applications. The clerk's holding it for you. Oh. Well. The Quarian could have stolen it. I'll close this event report, but I'll be watching you. Get a permanent residence, or I'll run you in for vagrants. Are you too serious? What? You falsely accused this girl of stealing from you. All you have to say now is that she could have stolen it? Now, just a minute. And you. She gets harassed and insulted by this guy, and you throw in a threat to arrest her for vagrancy. How about if I run you in for obstruction of justice? And how about I run you in for bullshit? You think you're gonna run in a former Spectre? I think both of you should get out of here. Oh, son of a... Thank you. I... I wish I could give you something more than words. What the hell was that C-Sec guy's problem? He had no evidence that you did anything wrong. I don't know. Everyone's been like that since I got here. Ah, oh, I would've helped out. Wah -wah. Uh, so anyways... Uh, now on to the other part of the Citadel.